Hey there, Cancer. This is Tanya Lee of Harmonia, and welcome to your general reading for July 2022. If you are new to this channel and you feel guided, go ahead and hit subscribe. Make sure you hit that bell twice. This way you get all notifications when I go live, and I do go live quite frequently, typically on Sundays or Monday evenings for the weekly All Zodiac Reads. But for the general, we're going to start off with some oracle cards. We're going to see what your challenge is for this month and then get into the tarot spread, which is usually the beginning, middle, and the end, as always with most spreads. But I don't typically like to say at the end of the month because time to me is fluid, even though I'm pulling in July's energy. You know, please be open-minded that we're all on different timelines. I'm reading for a lot of different people. So just take what resonates, leave the rest. Do not force anything to fit, all right? If you want something more private and personable, in my description box below, you can find all of my information. And the only way to book with me is through my website, okay? I also have a paid membership area, which gives you access to every single one of my timeless readings, including all of the extended love readings. So if that's something that you wanna check out for a small fee, you can go ahead and check out that area. There's discounts galore. Um, there's um, more info on my meditations and access points and my group meetups and so forth. So yeah, and my books are all back open again, okay? Because I know I was on hiatus for a little bit. But without further ado, let's get started. Like I said, we're going to start off here with some oracle cards, see what your challenge is this month, and then get into the beginning, middle, and the end. Here we go. Here we go, Cancer. Oh, and happy birthday for those of you celebrating. Calling in our guides, our ancestors, and our ascendant masters as to what messages we have for Cancer. What does Cancer need to know for July? What is going on for Cancer Spirit? Here we go. Ooh, Cancer, discover your superpower. 33, access 100% of your mojo. All right. Ooh, there's some creativity going on here for you, Cancer. I'm liking that energy. Let's see what the challenge is with this, all right? Discovering who you are. This is really finding that all of those unique characteristics that come out within you are what make you who you are and how you're going to be utilizing it. I really is going, it's really going to show you how you set yourself apart here. Ooh, a lot of you and the, what you're setting yourself apart here has to do with abundance here, okay? We have Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. Here's your challenge for the month. Now, here's what's interesting. We're using the double major arcana cards here. Do you see here with the Queen of Pentacles? Because to me, I feel like you're really, you're just really focused on your finances, really focused on what brings you st stability here. But there's a volcano in the back and there's some smoke here, all right? So your challenge here this month is, um, I almost feel for you, Cancer, is the ability to be crafty on how you utilize uh, your spending, but also how to make more, how to make more here. But for others of you, this is also to showcase you showing your self-worth, okay? So if you were someone here who over, maybe overgave to a situation, this is about showcasing of nurturing yourself as well. Because the Queen of Pentacles knows how to take care of themselves before they can go ahead and hand it off to another, okay? But there's something in regards to you needing to think ahead or be more practical i'm hearing cancer so i don't i don't know we'll see how the cards lay out here for you but with that smoke signal it almost feels like there may be some fires erupting this month but let's see let's see what the cards have to say here we go we're starting off with the emperor reversed we have the tower reversed with the 10 of wands. All right, I get it. I see, I could see where the struggle is, followed by the moon. In the middle here, we have the nine of cups reversed. We have justice here, six of wands with the 10 of cups. Towards the end, we have the four of swords reversed, the knight of pentacles reversed, sun, and we have the eight of pentacles. So you're definitely going to be working very hard. I feel like I'm talking to a cancer here who's very focused on finances here and career. Not so much relationships, but if it is any kind of relationships, I feel like you're cutting out relationships that no longer serve you. Ooh, yes, you are. Six of cups. 
Six of Cups here, okay? Soul mate energy. Hmm. This does have to, you know, it's funny, but I feel like it's almost a partnership with what you have done in the past and what you are becoming. And like I said, I feel like it's taking out some of the old relationships that no longer serve you. And some of you have very strong bonds with these individuals here, okay? Could be family members even. It's like a different way of thinking I keep hearing. But let's start off with this energy here with Aries with the Emperor reversed. Ooh. Ooh. Now, this is my father figure card, but with the Emperor reversed, did you... I feel like there's something here where a tower moment has already happened because the tower is reversed here and it's not saying that the tower is like not possible. Once the tower's here, it means something is like devastatingly gone, all right? It did not go in your favor, of course, because the foundation was never meant to be there in the first place, Cancer, all right? But when I have that emperor reversed, to me, that's someone who's very manipulative, very high traits in narcissism, all right? Someone here who is extremely controlling. Now, this could have been a controlling boss. This could have been a controlling family member. This could even have been a controlling father. This may be something, though, that happened way... Like, I don't feel like it's like, I think you're getting over this. I don't feel this level of something where it's like brand spanking new here because it is in the beginning, which is my past uh, spread. So I feel like with the Ten of Wands, you're at the completion of letting that burden go, letting something from the past go, no longer feeling like you need to carry it further. You're not. You're willing with that moon energy, that Pisces energy here, Cancer, to fly above it, to go towards the unknown. Not sure which direction to go, right? But here's the thing. I feel like... One of the hardest lessons here with a nine of cups, which is usually about having, you know, those w wishes, those riches, this fulfillment coming your way, going towards the ten of cups for you. This was reversed un under the emperor. Um, there has been someone here who was constantly selfish or controlling within your life. And it really shaped you and shaped your values and your belief systems, I'm hearing. Um, and a lot of it had to do with career and the relationships that you chose. Now, there's something in this level with the Nine of Cups, because that's like my overindulging card here, Cancer. I feel like the overindulging part is that self-worth. It's that honing in, like the Oracle cards had said in the beginning, discovering your superpower, access 100% of your mojo, is really like what you have. What's the ability for you to grow? How are you going to protect and take care of you as an individual, okay? Not again, another relationship. It's that you're getting over an old re relationship or an old version of you. Ooh, look at this, we got justice. Look at this, Cancer. We got Justice. Libra Energy next. Wow. Next, the fact that this is next to the Nine of Cups with Justice and then the Six of Wands, you got some great success happening your way. You have achieved to get over something that no longer served you. This is your biggest achievement and the biggest portion for you to be able to obtain all of those powers, right? This confidence boost, and it is a confidence boost, could come in a form of getting a promotion or all of a sudden getting some kind of quick overnight success, especially if you are a reader like myself or, you know, a influencer. This is about getting some kind of justice about all of the work that you have been putting in. And I feel like I'm talking to a cancer that really did work hard on this inner child wound, okay? And I feel like it comes down to an old father masculine wound. Now, what's interesting here next to the six of wands is we got the 10 of cups. This is what you're actually going to be able to fulfill by taking care of yourself, taking stock of yourself, and also really just being truly who you are and allowing that ability to be free 
to understand that you don't have to have all of the answers, that you don't have to see everything, Cancer, right? You don't have to see everything with that moon energy, right? This is about flying above it. This is about getting that new perception for you. And I feel that for many of you, it's gonna be formed and it's gonna make you enriched in so many different ways. The Ten of Cups to me is my tribe card, okay? It's not just family. It's whatever what family means to you. This could be, um, you know, your clients. If you are an entrepreneur and a boss and, you know, self-employed. This could be your soul tribe. This could be the people that make you vibe and they're in the same vibration as you. But there's something here about celebration coming together and finally... Finally, starting to see these rewards come in. You now have a 10 and a 10, significantly here, okay? The Four of Swords, which is all that rest and rejuvenation that you have been through, to look at all of that heartbreak, to be able to see the truth here, see the truth. This is reversed. You've already been through it. You've already taken the time to heal, Congratulations, a lot of you who are going through this. And if you have not hit this point, know that this should give you a burst of energy to see that it's possible, okay? Because I feel for some of you, you may be kind of down in the dumps. And if you're in that level of being in the Ten of Wands burden of like not being able to go stuff, it is possible. It is going to continue as long as you focus on your worth and what you can do to provide for you first, okay? The Knight of Pentacles facing the sun reverse is not showcasing me that, not, that you're not going to have clarity again. It's now showing that the expectation of when this is going to come in is not going to be on your timing. And you're okay with that. It's being open that, okay, you know what? It can be as slow as I focus on it, all right? Because I think for a lot of you cancer signs out there, we're focusing so heavily on when the success was going to happen, when you were going to get over something. And this is saying, no, I completely release this to the universe. I completely trust the universe. And I am going to just keep taking those practical steps of my worth to see how things come in place here. With this reverse, the Knight of Pentacles doesn't feel like to me it's going to be a loss because sometimes I can see that card as someone who's unstable or it's not someone who can get on that level. I feel like it's the ending of there. I feel like it's going to be the ending of slowness because you're now going to be focused more on the love portion, okay? And this isn't even going to feel real. Time is going to feel real because what you're going to be focusing on is putting in the work of what makes you tick. Ooh, what makes you tick? Not the time, not the clock. It's like, what crafts can I work on? What can I bring to the table? Ooh, interesting there for you, Cancer. All right, let's see what the in-between tarot has for your final outcome. I do not do reversals on the final outcome cards. What is the final messages here before uh, in the tarot before we get to the affirmation, spirit? What's the outcome of all of this worth and diligently going into your craft? We have the devil energy here. Interesting. With the fool energy, there's that new beginning. The queen of swords. Interesting. And we have temperance. Now, listen. look at this. This devil card, this Capricorn energy, I, I do not see it as toxicity or mindset. I see it as this focused drive and passion because the devil card could also be focused on passion here, okay? You are very passionate and working hard for a new beginning. Again, look at that flying. It almost feels like Icarus going towards the sun, right? Like... You are willing to really see the growth and really allow those wings to fly above. Queen of Swords energy here. Now, I feel like this is more of an outcome and a reminder because of the soulmate, what we started here with those, those energies here. With the Queen of Swords energy here, now this is what I feel like the Queen of Swords is seeing, okay? And it's interesting because I feel like it's almost battling the King of Swords here, all right? Because this is what we're looking at with that Queen. Now, 
I feel there is some kind of battle here with different mindsets um, of a individual here who could be an air sign. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius doesn't have to be, but could be very analytical. But I feel like you may be challenged, challenged by an individual. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Six of Cups energy here, Cancer, on how you run things, how you do things, all right? Um, just be honest. I'm hearing just be as honest to this individual as you are, <laughs> uh, as they are to you. Okay. Now they may not be happy about it. They may be defensive about it, but I feel this energy too, with the temperance, with Sagittarius energy, this is to say, have patience. All right. Know that your changes may not have, may not feel good for other people around you. That's okay. That's their job. That's their job, Cancer, not your job, okay? Don't let those inner demons um, keep you or deter you for, from your dreams, okay? Don't let people, you know, and this means, too, that when you're working on your craft, I know that some of you really, really want to share it with other individuals or talk about it, but just know some of that energy, Cancer, um, you know, anything you bring out could bring out things of people of negativity in the air, okay? Because people not always want, the, want don't want the best for you or their fears come in there and that's energetically could feed your tree, your tree of life, your tree of wealth here, okay? So keep that in mind, Cancer, keep that in mind. All right, so it looks like you got a lot of a lot of focus and drive here on your craft, on what makes you uh, tick, what the practical thing is, and challenges in a little bit with the relationships, but I don't feel like it's anything that um, is brutally going to be affecting you in a negative way. This is all just pushing you towards what you need. Let's see what your final affirmation is. Commitment, commitment you have. It says, I'm willingly accept that it's safe to topple my walls and commit completely to a relationship. It might be one that's already here or one that's on the way. Either way, those walls have got to go. Without them, I can go further, feel freer, and love bigger than ever before. Bonus. No walls means I'll save a lot of money on picture frames. So here's the thing. Like I said, some of these affirmations are coming in place here to allow yourself to know that these relationships, because like I said, there's going to be some relationships that are going to feel rocky, that it's to be, allow your walls not to be so high that you can't let people in including new people, but also letting some of those old people fall in place that do not even belong there because here's what you're working on. Your worth, your worth. So keep that in mind, but I feel like it's more in this your, your tribe, what's gonna bring happiness to you, okay? So I do feel like there's gonna be some new relationships that are gonna be coming out of this, but are gonna be more rewarding because you are going to be able to give an equal give and take. It isn't going to be where you feel like a controlling figure is, you know, making you be a people pleaser or not being able to be your true authentic self or there's an avoidance. You're not going to be doing that. I feel like you're going to be very authentic, very practical, and you're going to see and utilize some of this advice to make sure that when that smoke comes up that you're going to be ready and trusting your intuition. All right, guys, if this resonated for you, go ahead and hit like, comment below. Don't forget to subscribe. And like I said, if you would like to join me on my membership area, just go to my website, harmoniafriends.com, or you can visit my free group on Facebook called Harmonia Friends. And just search Harmonia Friends and join me over there. Take care. Bye-bye.